Welcome guys in this video we will learn how to use the context inside the init state. Init state start loading before the build and did change dependencies method. That's why when init state execute the widget context does not exist at that time. So here we use two method to use the property that we normally get by using the context as an input. Here I have the simple project in which I have my app widget and home screen as the stateful widget. We have the container widget which has defined height and width and also the text as a child. I already specified the provider in the pubspec.yaml file. Later we use how to get provider value inside the init state. Let's define the init state widget. Let's use the context from theme.offcontext.sn color which we'll use to add theme color to the defined variable color. Let's change the color to the orange so we will see the orange color in the container. But we see an exception error because here we try to use the context inside the init state widget. Let's see the first solution to this problem. Remember our goal is to have the color setup first before our widget build method executes. We use the did change dependencies method we define in color loading variable which will help us to execute the did change dependencies widget once. We define that if is color loading variable true the use of the theme dot of context dot sn color to get the color value inside the color widget. Then false the is color loading variable which will make sure that the above code execute once. In the second solution we use the init state method. What we do, we use the future dot delayed and then pass the duration 0 as a parameter and assign the color inside then function. This technique helps us to get use the context in the stateful widget in its state property. We change the above color to the indigo and see the result changes. That's execute successfully. Now create a new class color provider and then extend it from the chain notifier. Then we create the get color method and return the color and also use the notifier listeners. In the run app we use the chain notifier provider mention the color provider as the create property. Let's use the provider of color provider context inside the init state method and get the color. We have an error here. So for removing this error we add listen to the false in the provider. This will ignore the future update notification from the provider notifier. We disable the listener for the future changes while this page is loaded. We can see the color we define in the provider are showing through the use of init state method and here we are also using the context inside the init state. Hope this video will help you. See you soon in the next video. Thanks for watching.